Hey YouTube, so long time no see. Uh, I've been out of the game for quite a while. Um, I got busy with life like uh, most people. But anyways, what I've got for you guys today is a little something neat. So for first for a little bit of background, with what you may recognize as a first generation M7 VPU for the US M40 lineup of protective masks, is something I have in my possession now called the 3M RBE CM4 VPU. Um, and according to speculation, I'm quite sure that this is literally just a rebranded um, first generation M7 VPU, as I've stated, as to my knowledge, boasts no differentiating features from the original. My guess is, as a part of the late stage buy-off of the M40 contract from 3M, in its attempt to sell out the phased out M40A1 to first responders, I think this is what came as a product of that. With that being said, I'll just go straight into the actual voice projection unit VPU now. So how I plan on doing this video is splitting it into two major parts. So the first one is going to be this top down view where we're going to be talking about the VPU itself. And in the second part, I'll actually go ahead and throw on the mask so you guys can see how it sounds. So, um, how I received it in the mail was as in pretty much close to original packaging. Um, and it goes, so I just got the box itself, manual and VPU, no battery. Um, so this is the box. Yeah, not much going on. And the inside, if you're curious, the manual. And it goes in three of the most common languages as per commercial standard. And, uh, if you want to go ahead and read that there it is and i saw the back already um so yeah that was pretty neat it's one of the first manuals in my collection uh, the vpu itself there's a few of these safety markings Let's see if i can get that to focus and additionally it is also a i believe the second iteration was a triple a or double a but this is a nine volt which is revealed by these taking off these two screws. Which I'll go ahead and do that right now for you. Actually, you can just take off one, I believe. And then it will just swing open. And there you go. I have a 9 volt battery in already. So that is how the unit operates and functions. That's, and to turn it on, is just that one switch click, which is pretty neat. I'm really easy and uh oh yeah serial number that's a pretty small number so that's kind of neat um but yeah that's just the vpu and in the next clip i think i should be throwing on this mask and just like talking with it to demonstrate the voice projection capability but before we get onto that um in classic fashion i forgot to demonstrate how to put this onto the mask actually so the way i do it is according to the manual basically there is a rotating section of here that is free of the vpu itself so how you're going to do it first is you're going to basically just directly interface it with the front voice diaphragm and you should hear it click like that and i don't think i broke anything and after that you're going to go ahead and just screw this rotating section until it tightens and the vpu sits flush with the outer ring so I don't know if it might show, but the weird thing about this is when it tightens, you won't be able to rotate the VPU into a desired um, position. But I think I got it pretty close this time. Um, how I mean like that is that sometimes this VPU could be tightened, but it is oriented in like to the left or right. And this isn't exactly face up. Um, this time I actually seem to get it almost perfectly, but sometimes it'll be like this. And it'll be like super hard to adjust, but not this time. And uh, yeah, how it should look when you're finished. And go ahead, and I should throw it on now. All right, so uh, yeah, this is how I look. It's been like roughly a year now. I might look a little chunky because I am in the middle of a bulk right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So. I've already put on the uh, VPU just to save me the hassle of trying to do it without being able to see what I am doing. So, as you guys know, um, this is how it sounds. 
Although, before you compare it to the VPU, keep in mind that, um, and take it with a grain of salt that the VPU is muffling the voice diagram slightly. So also, I have on the um, 3M RBE40 canister, and uh, this is what it sounds like. My hair isn't the greatest right now to wear a gas mask, but I'll go ahead and turn on the VPU right now. I think I keep forgetting that. That's fine. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Um, and for a VPU, or for my very first VPU in general, honestly, this is it was a very good job at projecting my voice. I'm speaking at a normal tone, and uh, yeah, so this is what it sounds like. And uh, this is what it sounds like when I whisper. Um, and I guess this is what it sounds like when I'm, uh, I guess, yelling. But uh, it's a bit over-exaggerated. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool accessory to play with. Um, it takes a 9 volt battery, as I've previously mentioned. And, um, yeah, so it, it's a really cool thing to play with. Um, this is what the side profile looks like. And uh, using that as a segue, I'll actually go ahead and talk about the caveat. So, with the M40 being notoriously heavy on the user already, um, the VPU adds on a pound. I guess the filter adds on another pound. So this will become super. It will become ridiculously heavy as you go about your activities. Um, and the one thing I found that I guess I I don't hear it as prominent on the clip-on VPUs is the the very audible um, uh, like sound of me breathing. Um, the M40, in my opinion, is already does a very loud job at um, when you exhale, you can hear it. That's how I'm trying to say. But uh, this just kind of widens that issue. However. Um, I guess it wouldn't be a super big issue, but I guess night operations, it could be a, a problem to situational security at night, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's all really all to say about the VPU. It's a, it's a pretty cool thing. If you're considering getting one, I definitely suggest it. Um, but yeah, I guess that, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys liked it, I hope you did. Um, go ahead and please give a like. If you really like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't, this like, please tell me why. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.